Dane Wigington is our guest today at geoengineeringwatch.org. Uh, please continue laying out from your deep research what the end game of this is, because they admit the geoengineering is going on. It's going on on a planetary scale. They can even do lethal testing under U.S. Code Title 50, Chapter 32, if it's, quote, for research. So that's why they never say it's, it's, an, it's, it's now an operational phase. It's always in research phase. But it's so huge. I remember they did naval testing 18 years ago in South Texas, and they had 30-foot floods in, in creeks and things. It, it killed hundreds of people. And there was a footnote in the Associated Press that, the Navy was doing geoengineering testing in that area, but they weren't involved in the floods. Uh, so we just see these little type of things pop up. The cataclysms they have already caused, the human health impact already caused, could never be calculated. Ultimately, what these programs are about is power and control. Even if we trace them back to their inception, their, their first major deployments in the late 40s, that we are... We see in government documents, in fact, one of which I, I found on the NASA archives, 80 pages long from 1966. This is on geoengineeringwatch.org. Presidential document outlining the scope and scale of these programs, even as of that time, 10 major universities involved, 12 federal agencies involved, and yet we have CBS It was banned news. by a UN treaty that we signed in 1978. Uh, correct. After Project Popeye was so successful in Vietnam over the Ho Chi Minh Trail, but yet there were loopholes in that banning that did not prohibit countries from experimenting over their own populations. Right. And nobody's paying attention to the, the UN uh, mandates anyway. So uh, the bottom line And notice, right now, folks, we're finishing each other's sentences. And if you're a radio listener, we're putting documents on screen. We'll go to the second group. We're not making this up. This is in public view. How frustrating is it for you, Dane, to, to spend your life fighting this, to see your beautiful, uh, you know, uh, retreat dying, to see the trees dying all over California, to see the animals dying, to, to have the soil test with the aluminum dioxide off the chart. Uh, the Forestry Service, I know has talked to you and others, admits, yeah, something's happening. I mean, this is crazy. And, and, and then they just sit there and make fun of it. It's like living in, in, again, Groundhog Day, where you wake up every day hoping there's some sort of a, of a uh, consciousness around you that starts to stir. And, and yet, until now, we have the entire science community governmental agencies all towing the line for the power structure, all doubling down on the lie because they're so committed to the lie that this isn't going on. They're so committed to the lie that these are, quote, condensation trails. When I think you showed on the screen earlier, the high bypass turbofan jet engine encourage people to look at the tutorial on that we have at the homepage of Geoengineering Watch. This engine is mounted on all commercial aircraft, all military tankers. It's a jet powered fan by design. It is nearly incapable of producing any condensation trail except under the most extreme circumstances because 85% of the air that passes through that engine is non-combusted. The, the contrail lies is the greatest lie ever perpetrated on the American population. They've been planning for these programs to continue for a very long time, Alex, but the, the cataclysms they're sure. causing around the globe now can't be hidden much longer. But then in children's textbooks, I showed one a few years ago that's used nationwide, it said when you see those trails, that's the planes putting out a sunscreen to save us from global warming and to fix the ozone layer. So, and in kids' cartoons, they admit it. Uh, so, so the young ones will accept it, and they tell us nothing's happening. It's just crazy. The lie is beginning to break down, though, and in regard to the ozone layer, and that's an important point you brought up, the paradox here is that by putting particulates in the atmosphere, that actually destroys the ozone layer. It doesn't matter whether those particulates are from a volcano or from the back of a jet aircraft. And we're talking about the quantities we're speaking about here and stated by internationally recognized geoengineer David Keith, the goal to put 20 million tons of aluminum nanoparticulates into the atmosphere annually. And we have massive red flags, Alex, going up, proving the contamination we have said was there for a decade now, proving with our lab test, now we have... Peer-reviewed studies, for example, in regard to the bee collapse, colony collapse disorder, that we have stated again and again was not just the farm chemicals. There's a heavy metal contamination. Now we have peer-reviewed study proving uh, that bees are dying from symptoms that resemble dementia and Alzheimer's, the level of aluminum in the and bees. And we have Reuters uh, saying that. You and others yes. said that first. And, and, and just, to, yes. just to interrupt and interject that you're so right here. You bet. Uh, I saw another big study just a few years ago that lung cancer in women, even though smoking's way down, is up sevenfold. I personally am beyond scared now. I know 
six different young women below the ages of 40 that never smoked who are all dying of lung cancer right now. So whatever they're spraying is hitting women even more. And you see the neurological disorders are off the charts. The animals are dying. The trees are dying. I mean, this is madness. This is just like they put fluoride in the water, uh, which they now basically uh, admit uh, was a neurotoxin. And scientists say, take it out. Harvard says, take it out. They've quadrupled down with something even bigger now. Let's look at, in, a, in very brief summary, the negative effects of climate engineering. Total disruption of the global hydrological cycle, the rain cycle. Total shredding of the ozone layer. Total contamination of the entire surface of the planet. Every breath we take is laden with these materials. And in regard to, for example, let's take the forest fires that are happening in California now. What direct impacts do we know climate engineering is having on those fires? They're blanket spraying off the U.S. West Coast. As you correctly said in the beginning of the show, that disrupts, breaks up the storm track. Whatever moisture does come across the state, they aerosolize it, migrate it over the top. So climate engineering, again, has cut the rain cycle off, which is droughting out those trees. It's bioavailable heavy metals. We know the effect of those metals on the root systems. We have peer-reviewed study to prove that causes the trees to stop nutrient uptake. We have a massively intense UV. We're getting UVB readings with our own meters measured at about a thousand percent higher than we're being told. So we have foliage scorching. We have the trees dying from the top down. And importantly, these metals are an incendiary dust. They coat the forest foliage with an incendiary dust. So you have all the ingredients necessary, including more lightning, by the way, because we have a more conductive atmosphere. So we have more lightning, less rain, incendiary dust on the trees, forests that are dying, all the ingredients necessary for this type of fire category. And then we have all the patents going back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s about adding these very chemicals to jet fuel to be aerosolized by the jet engines and delivered. Then we have separate spray planes that have been photographed. Uh, then we have all these, and the guy, uh, I've got him here in the stack, what back in 92 wins a Nobel Prize for a plan to geoengineer exactly like this, and then suddenly the program launches two years later all over the world. I mean, it's just, it's just all hiding in plain view. It couldn't be any more obvious for anyone that's, that's willing to wipe their their perceptions clean and look with a clear lens. I mean, what we have in the sky is you again correctly cited global dimming. That's a term people should look up and understand. And that is the express goal of solar radiation management. That's a science term for what's happening above our skies. The express goal is to block the sun. And we have exactly that happening, proven with peer-reviewed science data. All the materials used in the patents are showing up on the ground in lethal quantities. And, and you, you notice again, almost every month, I'll hear on radio, TV, or print, scientists want a global dim by spraying particulate into the air released by airplanes. So they're just getting you ready. Like, scientists might want a world government someday when they're already setting it up. They're just purely conditioning us, I guess, to go public and say, yeah, we spray aluminum dioxide, barium salts, and radioactive isotopes on you and your family. This is insane asylum level. And then the, we were just showing London Guardian articles admitting geoengineering dimming programs already going on that that's what's crazy they admit they're doing it with one hand but deny they are with the other people are waking up quickly though and their attempt to sell this to the public as a quote-unquote climate change mitigation which we have more than enough data to know now conclusively that climate engineering is fueling a, an already bad a climate situation you obviously trap more heat than you deflect with the particulates, we have NASA confirming that for us. So this, this can't be sold as a climate mitigation in any sense. That's right. They claim they're stopping global warming, but then it makes us hotter. Correct. Listen, Correct. so much of it's classified. The programs, as you said, are admitted, but the details are classified. From your deep research and talking to top scientists, what do you think they're really trying to do? Is it a plan to come out with GMO seeds that only grow... Uh, you know, that Monsanto has that can grow in aluminum. We know they have a whole line of those. Or is it a, is it population reduction? Uh, is it uh, geoengineered to wreck the climate? Did they blow holes in the atmosphere and do something we didn't know about with the nukes? Uh, I mean, what is it? Or are they just playing God? Is it just about controlling the weather? Uh, you've just given a very accurate summary. If we in answer your question with all the above, absolutely all the above, and, and a comparison that matches very closely with the mentality behind climate engineering, Alex. You know what Corex it was in the Gulf of Mexico, yes. the chemical. So if we if we use that as an example, did Corex it correct anything? No. No. 
a chemical ban throughout the globe, including to our environmental impact reports, it made the situation 52 times more toxic, but they used it anyway. Why? To hide the damage already done. And, and some of the same mentality applies with climate engineering. In the course of their exercising this weather warfare, which is all it amounts to, you can't call it anything else, they continue doubling down on these programs in an attempt to try to, in some ways, hide, like corrects it, the damage already done by doing even more damage. And this is the mentality we have. They're too invested in this to turn back, Alex. Well, we've got to have you up more often. We're going to break and come back in the next two segments and have you cover all the different angles you need to get to. But uh, we're going to go over some of the geoengineering patents, geoengineering uh, reports. We, we've been showing TV viewers this. Uh, radio listeners can go to infowars.com forward slash show and find the free feed. Um, and by tomorrow, we'll have this posted on YouTube. People need to make this go viral. We'll also post it to Facebook. I mean, I've got children. And what scares me is, you know, uh, they're doing this now worldwide. Just a decade ago, my wife and I at the time privately talked about moving to the Southern Hemisphere to get away from increased radiation levels and the geoengineering. But according to my research, you can correct me if I'm wrong, they're now firing it up in the Southern Hemisphere as well. Is that correct? You are exactly correct. So, I mean, I'm going to get mad if, you know, when, when my kids are 20 if they get lung cancer. I mean, I'm, I'm really getting pissed at these politicians, man. I mean, they need to know that we're here to make sure they understand that we're going to, you know, they're going to pay for what they've done. I mean, I'm getting tired of being assaulted every day by this stuff. And I just, it seems like everybody I know has got a girlfriend or a wife dying of lung cancer. I mean, you know, I don't mean to be ranting. I'm just getting tired of it, man. I am getting tired of it. And the baby part's getting sold. I mean, we're run by demons. I'm going to do five minutes of overdrive with our guests, but then the whole fourth hour is going to be live with Anthony Gucciardi hosting today. And he's got a lot of key stuff he's going to be covering. Don't call my Anthony will get into the breakdown of the decline of America and what experts see coming down the pipeline for most Americans with Caterpillar contracting and other stock issues. He's also going to talk uh, to you, taking your calls, and cover the latest health news uh, that wasn't able to get to today, including a new type of disease outbreak that, that could affect millions. That is coming up in the fourth hour with Anthony Gucciardi. I've got the crew in there just Googling geoengineering at colleges, and they've got one here talking about geoengineer to stop CO2, spray particulate into the atmosphere. And so that's how they're getting them all ready to accept it, that you're the saviors of the earth by doing this, and it's total, complete madness. It's part of a larger program. Briefly, uh, please continue to spread the word about the broadcast. That's how we get the word out. It's how we reach new people. I want to thank all of you that have been doing that. Become a subscriber for five ninety five a month for the nightly news and help fund that operation. 20 people can use the same username, uh, so it's 20 people get a membership for five ninety five. You can sign up for a year. It's even less expensive. So prisonplanet.tv and mitigate the toxins we're breathing by water filtration. Cut out the toxins that are there and you lessen it to a great extent. High quality water filtration systems at infowarstore.com. Promo code water to get 10% off. So you're drinking pure clean water that cuts out the aluminum, the uh, garbage, the glyphosates, all of it and you're supporting this transmission, InfoWarsStore.com or 888-253-3139. When you call, tell them promo code WATER to get 10% off or promo code WATER at checkout, InfoWarsStore.com. Well, our guest, again, has been going to the State House, the Energy Commissions. He really is a great leader, just with his straight, deadpan layout of the info with scientists and others. There are a lot of scientists and meteorologists joining the ranks exposing geoengineering as the system tries to go public with it out of one side of its mouth, but denies it out of the other. Geoengineeringwatch.org. Uh, Dane Wigington, please continue to break down exactly what we're facing and how we reverse it. You say people are really starting to wake up. They are. Again, uh, the statement you just made, trying to abdicate out of one side and denying out of the other, that's exactly what we have happening. People ask me why this issue, why I'm focused so completely on this issue. As you alluded to before the break as well, Alex, if we can't think clearly, we are all absorbing these particulates, the neurological effect to the, to the human brain is well documented. If we can't think clearly, what other challenges will we face? We have statistics from MIT, for example, recent statistics that state MIT is a, a major research center in the globe. 
that within 10 years, one out of two children will have autism. One out of two. We have Alzheimer's dementia now. One in three seniors. The, in the IQ has, is dropping yes. 10 points yes. every 10 years. Yes. I mean, that's exactly. not education. We're